Hello everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So today I have my cash envelope and sinking fund stuffing for the first paycheck of March. So today we will be stuffing $571. So here I have all of my cash. We are first going to start, of course, with my wallet. So this is my daily spending. Um, I have my dividers inside, which those include dates, fun, gas, groceries, restaurants, and spending. And I also have a miscellaneous fund, but I actually do not have a divider for that. So I do just place it in one of these um, uh, pockets right here. So that is what I will be stuffing today. I have my dividers ready right here. And let's go ahead and start stuffing our dividers. So first I will be starting with dates and dates is going to get $50. So I'm going to take two $20 bills and one 10. So 20, 40, 50, $50 for dates. Fun will be getting $40, which it's going to get two $20 bills. Gas is also going to get $40, so two $20 bills. Next, I have groceries, but groceries is actually not going to get anything. Restaurants is going to get $35. So $20, $35. for restaurants. And spending will not be getting anything. So my dividers are all stuffed. I am going to add these to my wallet. And then I am adding $10 for my miscellaneous envelope. So that is just going to go right here. So now we're all officially done with our wallet for the next two weeks. Now I will be moving on to my sinking fund. So here I have my first binder. So Adventures Entertainment will be getting $10. And again, I forgot to update my trackers, but it will be getting $10. We have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 150 for Adventures Entertainment. Beauty will be getting $5. We now have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. So $65 for beauty. Next on the list is birthdays, and birthdays will be getting $20. One of my goals for this month is actually to not overspend on birthday gifts. Um, so as far as right now, I do have $600 with these $20 that I'm adding. So I'm really hoping to not overspend on the birthday gifts for the March birthdays. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 70, 90, 510, 530, 550, 570, 80, 90, 95, and $600. And I still haven't started birthday shopping, but I definitely, 100%, I will start birthday shopping tonight. Business will be getting, let's see, $26. So $25 and 6 So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So $60. Car maintenance. Oh, it's fully funded. 
So it has $500 in there and it's not going to get anything. And I forgot to put my tracker back into business. Card tags is next and it's going to get $10 as usual. My card tags are due in November and I need $224 for that. So now I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Not quite, but almost halfway there. Christmas is next and it's going to get $9. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we have $135. Next on the list is clothing, and clothing will be getting $9. I'm so happy that this fund is growing since I definitely need some new jeans. So, we should now have $40. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So $40 for clothing. Electronics will be getting $19. We have 10, 15, 17, 18, and 19. So we should have $490. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. So $490. Next is emergency fund. An emergency fund will be getting $20. I usually do $50, but I'm going to do $20 today. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 150, 220. So $1,220 in emergency fund. So we are done with my first binder, and now we're going to move on to binder number two. I now have binder number two here, and we're going to start with home. And home will be getting $4. One, two, three, and four. So we should have $40 now. We have 20 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. $40 for home. Ah, I'm struggling here. Household is next, and it's going to get its usual $5. So we now have... 20, 10, why do I keep messing up? I am not sure why. <laughs> okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. $26 for household. I'm not sure why, but whenever I have like a $5 bill on top, I want to start with 20. And I wish it was a 20, but it's a $5 bill. Investments will be getting uh, $20. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and add $20. So we now have 20, 40, 41. Medical is next and it's going to get $4. So one, two, three, and four. We now have 100, 200, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. New car is next. And it's just going to get one dollar. We have 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and 77. Let me make sure that's correct. Yes, it is. is going to get one hundred dollars and we now have one hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred six hundred seven hundred eight hundred nine hundred twenty thirty thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight nine hundred and thirty eight dollars next is toiletries and it's going to get five dollars We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. I don't think I need anything right now. So I'm gonna let this build up because usually what happens is that I run out of everything at the same time. That's why I like saving little by little. Vacation is going to get $9. So five, four, three, Seven, eight, and nine. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So $70, $570 for vacation. And last. No, this is not last. No. <laughs> savings challenge number one, which is the $1,000 savings challenge, will be getting $35. So 20, 30, 35. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Well, first, I forgot that I was not even going to count this, but since I already started, let me go ahead and count it. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 130 in my $1,000 savings challenge. This savings challenge, which is my $2,000 savings challenge, will be getting $60. I'm not actually going to count this one. I wasn't supposed to count any, but I already counted the other one. But this one, I'm not going to count. Okay, so that is it for this binder. Now I have $25 left over. If you guys do not know, um, my boyfriend, my sister's, and my sister's best friend's birthdays are in March. So we are going to go to the casino. So here's my casino envelope. So I'm saving for that trip. On March 18th, we will be going to the casino. So we have 25 that I'm adding. And I still have this ripped $50 bill, which next time that, I'm going to, that I go to the bank, I will go ahead and exchange it for another $50 bill. Or if I have any back to the bank money and I have $50, I'll go ahead and exchange it and then I'll deposit this $50 bill into my bank account. But I have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. I have $100 so far. And if this isn't enough, um, then I do I have my Adventures Entertainment Fund that I can also use for this trip. 
So that is all for the cash stuffing. Hi everyone. So I am back. It is another day now and I just wanted to come on here because another budgeter and I will be hosting a giveaway. We're going to be giving away $60. I am not sure how we're going to go ahead and do that payment method, but we are giving away $60. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the rules. The first rule is that you must be subscribed to both of us. So that is Fitted Budgets and Maria's Budgeting. You must be subscribed to both of us and your subscriptions must be public. After I give all of the rules, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip on how to make your subscriptions public. So in order to enter, they have to be public. If they are not public, then you will not be entered to the giveaway. The second rule is that you must like both videos. So make sure to do that. The third rule is that you must comment on both videos. What's your number one financial goal for 2021? It can be anything, but just your number one financial goal. Make sure to comment on both of the videos. The fourth rule is not really a rule. It's optional, so it's not a rule. But if you guys would like, make sure to follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is Maria's Budgeting and Veda's Instagram is Veda Budgets. I will go ahead and leave the links down below in the description box. The giveaway will start March 8th and it will end March 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Which all of the rules will be down below. And here I'm going to insert a clip on how to make your subscriptions public. So for the people that don't know how to make your subscriptions public, I will go ahead and show you guys right now. So you'll just go to your um, page and you're going to go on to your settings. After you go to your settings, um, there's a privacy tab right here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. You have to make sure that this is turned off since it says keep all my subscriptions private. You have to click on it so it is off. So since it is off, that means that your subscriptions are public. On March 23rd, we are going to come on YouTube and announce the giveaway winner. So make sure to stay tuned. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this cash envelope stuffing. And I hope that you all enter this giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.